Welcome to this video on creating rules for your sent items in the new Microsoft Outlook. So if you're working on projects like myself and you send a lot of information over, sometimes you need to then make sure that's accessible quickly in a project folder or something like that. Um, and you don't want to be going through all of your sent items and using the search and trying to find them. You know that anything that you get from that project you can put a rule in place to send into a folder or you can just quickly move it from your inbox. But sent items are a little bit different and you can't create a rule for that. So there's a nice little workaround I've got here for you. What I have is I have a an email and I'm going to just pull it up that I've already set to send to my project team about a weekly update. And I want a rule once this has been sent to be able to automatically file this in a folder so that I don't have to go through my sent items with every other piece I'm working on. I can, folk, I can go into the project folder and find this with everything else. And this is a sent item, remember. And there's a couple of things you need to do to make sure you can use this rule because it won't find sent items. So have a look at what I've done. I'm sending it to, you can see at the top, that's me. That's who it's from. I'm sending it to another email, but I've CC'd myself in. It's really important that I have CC'd myself into this email. And then if I go down, what I've also done is I've put a little random hashtag at the bottom. Now, you can use whatever formula or anything that you want, but I've put something down at the bottom so that it recognises Again, I can put this rule, this information as a condition into my rule and it recognises what I am looking for. Now, it can be super random. You can also change the colour of this so that it blends into the background. If I change this type, this text to white, no one will see it. No one will know it's there. But again, that information is really useful to help me build up the rule. And this is a project that's called Project Paris. So that's why I've done a hashtag Project Paris there. And you can have these for different projects and different things. You'll just need to, maybe on a sticky note or something, you'll just need to make sure you write down the hashtags or the, the information that you're going to sneakily put into an email that you can then use as a condition. But it's from me. I've CC'd myself into it. I can even BCC myself into it if I need to. And I've put a hashtag on there. So let's have a look at how to create this rule and go back into Outlook. So the easiest way to do this is on the top bar. If I click on those three dots, then I have a rule option and I can go to manage rules. And when I do, I get a nice pop up box there. I'll just make that the same size as the recording screen so you can see everything that's going on there. And I've got no rules at the moment, so I'm just going to click add new rule. And then I can name my rule. So I'm just going to go project Paris. And I'm going to put a capital sent items. So I know exactly what I'm looking for. I don't know if anyone else can't type <laughs> when the note others are watching or recording as well. So just edited that one. So that's the name of my rule. And now I want to add a condition. And remember, we just went through three different conditions. So if I click on add a condition, I'm going to say it's from. And I'm going to put my email address in there. And then I'm going to add another condition and notice it's add. So it's going to look for all of these and make sure all of these are there before it does the action. So and I'm on the CC line. Add another condition. And finally, I want to go to message body includes, not subject, but message body includes. And this is where I want to type in that, that hashtag or whatever I've put in there in order to make it relevant. So I'm going to put my hashtag and Project Paris. And make sure it's accurate so it, rec it recognises it. So it's from me. I'm on the CC line and in the body, somewhere in there, it says hashtag Project Paris. 
And remember, you can hide that by changing the colour of the text if you don't want people to see that. And templates might work really well for you as well if you want to do this um, and you don't want to have to constantly add that information into an email to make this rule work. And then I'm going to add an action. So what I'm going to do is move it to and then select a folder. So let's just have a little scroll down and see what that shows. So you can see I haven't really got any folders there. So I'm going to create a new folder for Project Paris and click Save. So it's now going to move to Project Paris. So everything I get from that project, I'm going to put in there anyway. And I can do some really nice rules because I receive that email. But also anything that I send about Project Paris and I put myself on the CC line and I put that little hashtag in there, that's also going to have a copy in that folder as well so that everything about that project is in one place and it's nice and simple and easy. And I'm going to click on Save. So that's going to create that rule for me. I've got all of that information in there. And obviously, if I come into rules at any point and I want to change that, then I can just use a pencil to edit that rule. And I'm just going to click on the cross to drop that down. So finally, what I can do then is I can send this message that I had started. And let's have a look and see if it pops up the way we expect it to. So I've gone back to my inbox. In my sent items, you can see that weekly project update that went through. And then if I scroll down to Project Paris, I've now got that weekly project update in there. So it always leaves it in the sent as well. So you're not going to lose that. If you do want to search for something, you'll still find it in sent, but you will also find it in the folder you sent it to, which is really useful. So all of my project information is in the same place. So just remember those three conditions there. It's coming from you. You're in the CC line and you have some sort of identifier, a hashtag or something else on the email. And remember, you can change the color of that text so that it's not visible to anyone else. But it's still there and Outlook will still recognize it when it's running its rules and you get new emails. Remember, you might just want to put those on a sticky note or you can create templates for them if you want to use these for multiple things. But it might be a really nice way of just making sure you've got those emails in the right folders so you can find what you're looking for without having to scroll through your sent items. I find it super frustrating when I'm trying to find something and I've sent loads of emails and it's just my searching's really hard or I'm just having to scroll through loads of things or remember when it was sent. But if I can go to that folder and also see my sent items, it's going to make my life a lot easier. So one to have a think about there, see if that might work best work for you, how that might work for you. Is there a couple of examples you might want to create so that you get different sent items going into different folders? And remember, you can just create multiple rules, as many as you want, with just different identifiers, different hashtags on there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And please do let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.